Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to unlock the door on your front load washer. So if your front load washer is locked and you can't figure out how to unlock it, today I'll help you out. I'm gonna show you three different strategies on how to do this. So the first one I'm gonna show you is how to reset the electronics. Now, if that doesn't work, or if you don't have that exact washing machine, then keep on watching and I'll show you how to get the water out of the machine. This one right here has a filter in the bottom left right here and we can take the water out and we can make sure that the filter is cleaned. When those filters get clogged and full of stuff, like you can see this one right here has got all kinds of stuff in here from water balloons to a bra pad and everything in between, then the pump can't pump the water out. If the water stays in the system, it will not let you unlock the door. Now this one right here that you're looking at does not have a door in the bottom left to get to that filter. So we're gonna have to actually take the back of this washer off in order to get to that filter. I'll show you all three of those. Let's start with the easiest one, which is resetting the electronics. Now again, if you don't have that washer, don't worry. It's only a couple minutes long and then you can get to the second strategy. Video, I'm gonna show you how to reset the Maytag Maxima washer. This is really helpful if your door is locked and you can't unlock it, or if the control panel starts freaking out like this one right here. Check this out. So these three buttons right here, you're gonna just push them one, two, three, and we're gonna repeat it. One, two, three. One more time, one, two, three. Then we are going to push the middle button, push it again, and that is going to unlock the door. There you go, push that one right there. That's gonna unlock the door for you. It should work every single time. It's also gonna reset the codes on this washing machine. Okay, if that did not work, we're on to our second strategies, and that is to get the water out directly. So in this one right here, the bottom left has that little door. We're gonna open that little door. I'll show you how to get the water out. I'll show you how to take out the filter and make sure that it's not clogged up with stuff. Now, if your washer looks like this and you do not have a little access door at the bottom, then you can kind of fast forward a little bit and I'll get to this second type of washer in a couple minutes. All right, let's get to it. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this panel off, but before we do, let's get a little bit of materials. We need something to hold some water and something kind of low to hold some water. Now, if your washer is up on a pedestal, then you can get away with a little bit more of a bucket style, something to hold water. And uh, we're gonna get a towel and we'll tuck it under here as well. Okay, now we've got our towel. We're just gonna open this up, push down on this. This little door actually just hinges and comes right off. I say it's easy, but then I struggled a little bit. It actually does come off pretty darn easy. And look at that, they give you kind of instructions right there. So we have a hose down here, that's this here. And then obviously the filter is on the right hand side. The hose though, is that we need to drain all of the water out of the system. Your washer might have a little bit of water. It's probably gonna have a lot of water though, especially if it was the middle of a cycle, there's a good chance that you are gonna be filling up a pan like this, dumping it in here, and you might have to do it multiple times. There's a trick to it. So we'll take out the hose, just gently pull down and gently pull out a little bit, but that's all the hose you have. So you can see that if you had something tall like this, it really wouldn't work. So we're gonna put it into this pan. We'll fill it up about halfway and then we'll just keep kind of dumping and coming back to it. I'm just gonna pull out this plug. We're gonna drain out the water and then we can put this plug back in temporarily if we need to go dump out the water. All right, let's get to it. Okay, so I pulled out the plug. By the way, you can just kind of hold it with your fingers like this. And I put this towel here just in case we drip a little bit. So there's our water coming out. And again, it's kind of a long, slow process. I mean, you know, a few minutes, but sitting down here isn't the most comfortable thing. So we'll drain it out. And then again, you could put the plug back in at this point, or I'm just gonna kind of pinch it off. And then I'll pour that into my bucket. There we go, back at it. So again, depending on when this happened, like was it in the middle of the cycle, this, this could be something, you know, you have to go get this and then put that down the drain. But this could happen multiple times. Pinch it off, do it again. Okay, we filled up this pan. This is the fourth time now. So here's how much water we have. This technique of pinching off my finger seems to be working pretty well. 
So I don't think you need to put this plug in every time. Pinching off seems to work pretty good. So now I'm at a point where this is more than halfway full. So I'm gonna do one more pan full here and then I'm gonna plug it up, dump this out, and then we'll come back. Ooh, look at that though, it just stopped. All right, I'm gonna give it a minute. Let's let it kind of keep dripping here, but boy, that's good news. Again, just a warning, it could be more water than this. It could be less water than this. So just kind of keep that in mind. And again, if you're ever desperate, just put that plug back in and it will stop the water from coming out. Okay, looks like mine's just about done. So I put that plug back in. Now I'm gonna gently push this hose back in a little bit and then this just attaches back up. Let's see if I can get you a better angle. Okay, and then this is just gonna attach back up like that. So now we're ready to go after our filter and there's our filter right there. So we're gonna turn it gently counterclockwise. As we open it, we'll just double check. We don't want a bunch of water coming out and because we we drained this, there should not be any water or almost no water coming out. So this kind of a loader is very nice that this drain is in the front. So our last LG washer, we actually had to open up the back of our unit and it was really a pain in the neck to get to. So let's take out our filter and there it is. Now this filter is clean. So I have cleaned it recently. Kind of clean it out a little bit. Make sure this is all nice and clean here. And then the basket's going to go in just like this. Turn it. It's a couple revolutions here. And then when it's done turning, you can feel it. It's pretty firm. It's a pretty firm stop when it's ready to go. This is buttoned up here. I'll move our water out of the way. Then we'll put this right back in here. There we go. Put that back in. At this point, you're done with the hard part. Now unplug the washer, wait about five minutes, plug it back in, and that should erase the error codes, and it should allow you to unlock the door. And we're on to our third and final strategy to unlock the door. Also, if there's error codes, this will unlock the error codes. So if you have a front loader, it's going to have a filter. The problem is that some of them do not have easy access to these filters like this one right here. And on this machine, we need to have access from the back of the machine. Look at some of the stuff that was in here, by the way, bra pad, water balloons, all kinds of stuff. Believe it or not, those bra pads are a very common thing to get stuck in these filters. If they get stuck, it can't pump the water out. And if it doesn't pump out the water, it's gonna automatically lock your door and then you're stuck. So let's go step by step and let's figure out how to get to this filter. So this is gonna be a little trickier, right? This is gonna be full of water. You're gonna to have to figure out how to kind of shuffle it out away from a wall if it's set up like mine right here. Might take two people, it might have a lot of water in it. So let's go step by step and take care of this one. So first things first, I'm actually gonna unplug the unit. I have my washer and dryer both here and they're kind of tight. I'm gonna unplug both of them. That way I just make absolutely sure that I get it unplugged. Also, I should be able to perform this keeping the cold and hot water supply intact. These are a little bit long on mine, so you may end up having to remove these, but um, for me, I'm gonna be able to get away with not having to do it. Of course, I'm gonna remove this drain right here and make sure there's gonna be water coming out. So make sure that when you get started here, have a couple buckets, a kind of shallow bowl, and a bunch of rags, towels, and stuff like that. All right, let's dive right in. To access the back drain, we're gonna to wanna to take this back panel off. So all of these are quarter inch uh, bits. So one, two, three, they'll work with a Phillips screwdriver too. I'm gonna to use a drill like this one right here with a quarter inch bit, makes it so much faster and easier. Anyway, there's about a dozen of them that go all the way around. And then don't forget there's one right here in the middle. You gotta get that one out as well. Okay, this is the trap right here. And I'm gonna put my hand in from the right hand side and I'm going to turn this about two and a half turns uh, counterclockwise. Now it's hard for me to get the camera and my hand in here, so I'm not gonna be able to show you it, but I'm gonna turn that counterclockwise. Now as I'm turning that and unscrewing it, 
water is going to be coming out of there. So what I'm going to do is let some of the water out and then I can plug that back up, right? Screw it back in. And then I can dump that water out of that bowl into a larger bucket. And I can keep doing that until there's no more water coming out. You might have a little bit of water, but if your machine is full of water and it wasn't draining at all, you might have to do this several times to get all the water out. So I kind of started to pull it out and put it back in and here we go. So this is the trap that is designed to catch, well, all this kind of stuff. Let's take a closer look. Oh my gross. Yes, this is gross. Yes, there's a lot in here. Yes, this is definitely clogging it up. But the good news is, and I'm so happy, this is the problem. So once I clean this up and get all this nonsense, look at that, there's water balloon pieces in here. Oh my gosh, what is, what is this? What is this? I, I don't even know what that is, but clearly that is clogging it up. That's what was throwing that error code. So I'll clean this up and let's put it back together and see if it works. Okay, so I've cleaned up the trap here. It's ready to go. And just to show you again, this is all the stuff. I don't know how this thing right here, whatever this is, made it through this far, but it did. And here's some more nonsense water balloons, rubber bands. Just, I don't even know what else. It amazes me that it made it that far. The trap did what it was supposed to do. I'm so happy. I thought maybe this machine was broken, broken, and I had to get a new one or a new pump or whatever. But we'll put this back together and I'm confident that this Problem. is gonna solve. Okay, when you put it back in, it's gotta go just like this, right? Just like this. And it should just slide in nice and easy. Might take a little bit of fidgeting around with. And then we'll get this nice and tight. Okay, as I'm tightening, you can see this piece of plastic, this little piece sticking up right here, it needs to make it all the way until it makes contact with this plastic right here. So right up against it, see how these two came together to hit? So now I know it's as far as it goes. In other words, it's as tight as it goes. That way I won't have a leak. All right, let's put it back together and try it out. All right, I've got the washer back together, pushed back in its spot. I plugged it back in and that should do it. You should be able to open the locked door. It should unlock. If for some reason it doesn't, at this point, try unplugging the machine for another five minutes, plug it back in and that should do it. This particular machine sometimes can be a little picky. Even after this process, you might find that you have to go back to the very first part of this video and reset the electronics again now that you've taken the water out. And that should do it, my friends. Hey, that should have unlocked the door on your washing machine. Congratulations, saved yourself a expensive appliance repairman from having to come out. If this helped you out, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Hey, you can even consider donating a few dollars under that thank you.